guys, welcome back to our channel. We are here in the Germany Pavilion because we wanted to check out the beer garden. Here we go. There it is. We want to check it out because usually it is a buffet style, but there is a modified um, dining experience here. So we're going to go check it out. We did our, our mobile check-in already and uh, they're going to go seat us. So when we walked in, they let us know a few things. One, it's not uh, the normal eating style, so it would normally be a buffet over there. Uh, but now it is family style, so they bring it out to you. So this is the starters, some salads, you know, potato salad, macaroni salad and stuff. Uh, they bring out along with the bread. Uh, also, you don't sit with anybody. Normally they have you sharing a table with somebody to have that sense of community. Right now, they're not doing that. So those are a couple changes. Um, but they're gonna bring everything out to your table, all the food, the, the starters, the entrees, the dessert, and then of course your drinks as well. Um, and it's empty pretty much here. There's not a lot of people, although we are coming late at night around 8.30. Uh, it looks like they have everyone still pretty spaced out. And I can't imagine it being too crowded here, uh, even during the day. But lunch and dinner is the same menu. It's forty-six dollars for that family-style meal. So I'm really excited. I always love coming to Beer Garden. It looks like it's a very similar menu to what they normally have. So I'm excited to try it all again. I love uh, the schnitzel that they have here, the pork schnitzel. We're here enjoying our food. Dominic showed you what the starters were, a lot of the pasta and the potato salad. But one thing I do have to say is a failure on our part we kind of didn't know but the last show that they have that they have performers here and they still do because it's modified we thought that maybe the performers weren't coming but they are and the last show is at 805 and we're here at 830 so we just missed it so learn from our mistakes make those reservations earlier than eight o'clock just so that you're in the door and get to enjoy that show we've been here many times so we've seen the show before and let's be honest, we're here for the food, right? And of course, the beer. We got the awesome beer flight here at the beer garden. Comes with four beers. The Schohofer Pink Grapefruit, the very popular one, of course. This one. The Koenig Ludwig beer, Bex Pilsner, and the uh, Warsteiner Dunkel is the one in the middle, the dark one. That's the one that so, you're gonna like. Yes. I like Dunkles, I like dark beers, coffee or you know, mocha aroma. I love those. But of course the grapefruit is, is delicious. That's my no, favorite. Not as strong but still delicious. I haven't had Bex before and I don't think I've had the Koenig. This one? Yeah, the Bex is the one right here. I don't think I've had the Koenig before either, so I'm be excited to try those. I didn't know they had this option. I thought you had to get a full beer. No. Now, I mean, it was very tempting to try to get the liter of beer and have the big mug, but I couldn't decide which one. So I just decided, let's get the So other than the bread, you know, the bread, what is your favorite for the starters? I mean, they're all good. They're actually all really good. But the macaroni and the potato salads are my favorite. Uh, it's Those a toss up between them. Okay. It's a toss up between the two. They're both really good. I would have to say mine are the macaroni and the cucumber. I really like. I know I look like I didn't eat much of it because I don't like tomatoes, but those two are my favorite. But mostly the macaroni. The Yummy. Macaroni salad. What if you mix the two? I kind of did. I put them both <laughs> in next to each other on the plate. I'm back and forth between them. So, yeah, technically I put them all together. Definitely dig. But all, all of them are good. The beets are really sweet. Yeah, a little too sweet for me right now, but they're good. They're good. Don't, don't let this fool you. We liked it. So, give a little thought of each one of the beers that we got in the flight. So, the Schulhofer, I've already, I actually already took a sip, but uh, it's really good, as always. Really sweet grapefruit. It's, a, it's very, always delicious great they actually sell that one outside yeah. too so you they, get a nice big old cup and bowl yes i think they, they give you like a 16 ounce one out there it's awesome 
Next is the Koenig. I don't think I've had this one before. That's good. It's really complex with a little fruit aromas in there, fruit notes in there. It's actually really good. It's like lightly fruity. It's not like overly fruity like grapefruit, but it's lightly fruity. So I like it. Gotta cleanse your palate there. How about professional, okay? Kids don't try this at home. Actually, kids don't try this at all. Next we got the Wursteiner Dunkel. I think I'll like this. Mm. You taste like the mocha. It's like kind of like a dark, yeah, dark mocha coffee kind of flavor, like a little caramely in there. Really, really good. I really like that one. Just that caramel and dark mocha that comes out of that. It's Is it delicious. much stronger than the others? It, I mean, it tastes a little bit stronger. You're normally going to see that from darker beers, but yeah, it's really good. Next, we got the Bex Pilsner. This is a pretty popular brand. I haven't had it before, though. Yeah, you know, it's pretty good. It's it's actually pretty light. Um, the yeah. aftertaste, though. I tasted that one. I was the only one I tasted so far. That aftertaste. Yeah. I didn't want you to describe that. I'll try it again. <laughs> You're just trying to sneak more sips than me. I mean, it's definitely like a barley type of taste. Um, you taste the wheat. It's more of like a wheat pilsner. But, I mean, all four of them are actually really good. If you had to, like, put them in order of your ranking. One, two, three, four. I would put the Bex last just because it's like the least complex. Um, it's still good. It's easy to drink. I know a lot of people drink it. Um, but... Myself, I really like those darker beers. I'm a big fan of porters. I'm a big fan of, you know, stouts like Guinness. So these dark beers really do the trick for me. And also a lot of fruity beers as well. So the grapefruit, it's great. Don't you love that our channel just turned into a food and alcohol review channel? Isn't that great? Well, but, you like talking about beer. Yes. I'm a, I'm a big beer guy. But yeah, these are all great. So when you come, uh, and you want to try different beers, definitely get the flight. It's definitely worth it. It's only $15 and you get all four beers. So better, I think, than paying just 12 bucks for one beer. And you could share it with the people you're with if you're comfortable with that. And then if you guys decide you liked one the best, you can just order that one by itself for as your second drink. Mm -hmm. So now here is my ranking, very different than Dominic's. Of course, my number one has to be the grapefruit beer. Come on, you can't go wrong with that as number one. I mean, you can, but it's not really a beer. It's only 2%. I know, it's kind of like a cider. Yeah. It almost feels like a cider. I like even half, half the alcohol cider, but it's still really good. And which one's this one called again, that dark one? That is the worst diner dump. I really thought that one was going to be my last choice, but it ended up being my third, which is kind of weird to have a fruit-based beer as the last one. Well, Dominic and I are very different. So in honor of the show that's not going on right now, we're going to do the little saying they do. So tick-tock, tick-tock. Oi, oi, oi. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Oi, oi, oi. We got to do it. Mm -hmm. We got to. <laughs> Time for the main attraction. We got some of my favorite stuff in here. We got some pork schnitzel. This is absolutely delicious. We got some meatballs. It's a nice little sauce in there. We got a... Witzel or something? No. Splat? There is a lot of names getting thrown at us. Spatzel. 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 We got some spatzel, which is like a kind of a pasta type of thing. Like a potato pasta. Roasted chicken. Some bratwurst, you got a little bit of sauerkraut there. Then we also have some green beans, some potatoes, What's some like gratin, potato some, some gratin over there, and then I guess a little bit more um, sausage. And you are probably wondering why we have so many rolls left over. Well, you gotta eat it. Put the bratwurst 
and sauerkraut in the pretzel. Sandwich time. That is a lot of food, a lot of meats. It's heavy, so be prepared for that. Um, but I love the schnitzel. It's my favorite. Um, I think like we barely even touched it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a couple of them, um, but I always love the schnitzel. Uh, the meatballs are good. Um, Splatly is good. I mean, the ground's great. So, I mean, it's all really good yeah, food. It is just a lot, so if you want to come to the beer garden and you want to eat your money's worth, make sure you do not eat and drink like more than a few hours away, right? If your dining re dinner reservation is at 7, don't eat anything past 3 o'clock. You need to make sure you're having that room. Yeah, I have to say, this is a, a lot of food. Literally, Dominic even looks full in his face, like he's just like, <laughs> looks tired. Call me fat? Nope. He looks tired in his face. Oh, I'm tired, not because of the food though. <laughs> oh, yummy. And then dessert is next, so save some room. So you got some dessert here. Close it off, you got some chocolate chip cookies. This is black forest cake. Some Bavarian cheesecake with berry compote. And the piece de resistance. Apple strudel with vanilla sauce. This is the main attraction, guys. I know you said it was the meats, but come on. No, the meats are the main attraction. This is the piece de resistance. Okay. They normally have this out at the festival, too. I did have the black forest cake. It wasn't my favorite, but I love the chocolate chip cookie and the apple strudel. I always say things incorrectly, so hopefully that was right. What was your favorites? Uh, I mean, the apple strudel was great. The uh, Bavarian cake was delicious and very easy to eat. Bavarian cheesecake. Oh yes, Bavarian yeah. cheesecake. Uh, but this was just a great meal. Uh, I always recommend coming over here if you're wanting something interesting, if you love meat, definitely come to the beer garden. And like Michaela said, normally we'd have on stage the performers, uh, so you want to come a little bit earlier for that. But have you guys been to beer garden here in Epcot? Do you want to try it out? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Other than that, like and subscribe uh, for more videos. Check out our other video we showed you around Epcot today with the Food and Wine Festival. But thank you guys so much, and we'll see you again real soon.